So you want to see how I made my money. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I made $890 on ticker Facebook uh, day trading the options. So to start off, I'm on the daily chart time frame. I always do my analysis on the daily chart. It allows me to see the larger areas of support and resistance. And it's going to give you a little background as to why I sized up with this position. So yesterday's closing price was right here at 280. Oftentimes these whole numbers will act as natural areas of support and resistance. This was all time highs for this ticker. So if I back up, you can see that um, there is no resistance above this point. The only resistance was back here at this wick and that was at about 279. So with a close over 280 on higher volume like this, the stock looks really good. It looks really primed to break out and uh, continue the move up, right? So I'm going to move into the five minute chart time frame. The reason that um, we wanted to trade this long today was because over a break of 284 was going to give us a move into all time highs. So yesterday the high was 283. Pre market, the high right here was right at 284, and we opened up um, exactly at 284, right at that price point. So we were looking for a long position over 284. In the first five minutes, I don't trade. Um, there's just too much volatility, too many fake outs happen. So I let the first five minute candle um, form before I decide on taking a position. And that kind of dictates the momentum of the uh, of the stock for the day. Not always, right? Because reversals happen. But um, usually, you know, if, if you have a candle on a setup like this that just completely blows over the trigger point, um, this moved up from 284 to 287.78. So almost a four dollar move in the first five minutes. That's telling me this thing is it's primed to go. It's got a lot of momentum behind it. So following that first uh, five minute candle, you had a period of consolidation, you had another period of consolidation. And so what this starts to form here is a minor, um, this is like a bull pennant pattern, okay? That was where I took my first position at uh, 645, right at the base of this bull pennant. But to show you that guys, I have to move into the one minute chart time frame. So when you have consolidation phases, um, oftentimes you can move into the one minute chart time frame to get a better idea of what's actually going on with the ticker. So here's our $4 push up in the first five minutes, uh, period of consolidation, right? It's just moving sideways, moving sideways. And what I like about this is that while it's moving sideways or kind of pulling back, this is occurring on lower volume, right? So here's your bull pennant pattern. This is going to be your ultimate level of support right here around 287. I took the position long here, um, right at 645. I mentioned that in chat, and we got this one pop move up and over. Um, I was in with about a $5,000 position. So these contracts that I purchased um, at the bottom here ran 20% right over this high of day, and I sold for profit right here. Um, that was pretty close to that was like an $810 trade right there, profit, just on that one move alone. Uh, now where the next entry came in, we have to go back to the five minute chart time frame. I'm a big fan, guys, of taking profits when offered. You may ask me, well, why didn't you hold through? You know, why, why did you wanna take profits right there? Because I'm a profit target trader. I sold everything all at once because I was in with a larger position. Um, I just found that over time, Holding through all of this to get this massive move, it, it doesn't happen that often. Yeah, it would have worked out this time, but more often than not, you're not gonna get these, these massive moves like this. We did catch a piece of this though, and I'm gonna go over that for my second entry, but um, you know, I always will take profits when offered. So what I'll do is have a 20% profit target in mind with a 10% stop loss. So had this reversed on me and I went down 10%, I would have cut the position. What that does is allows me to lose twice as many trades as I win, right? Because I have a two to one ratio and still remain at break even. Let me say that again. With a 20% profit target for my wins and a 10% stop loss target for my losses, it would take me twice as many losses to have 
um, a, an account be at break even for me. So here's the deal. Uh, this popped up 20%. I was in with a larger size that I took $810 off of that trade. My second position, I sized down because I was already up. So we have to go back to the five minute chart time frame for me to walk you through my uh, my second entry here. All right, so Facebook, we waited, 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 right? It's still consolidating back on the five minute chart time frame. We caught this nice pop move up. Glad we sold there because this came back down and I may have been stopped out at that price point. So looking at the at the one minute chart time frame, um, it kind of looks like it's selling off here, right? But if we flip to the five minute, it's it's not really because these candles are still holding that baseline support right here at 287. So what we were able to identify is that Facebook is is pushed up and it's consolidating here within a range. And that range is going to be between 287 and about 289. Okay. Our second entry, oh, and all all of this is occurring on lower volume. So consolidation on lower volume is a good thing. Consolidation after a large move up is a good thing. That builds you a base for the next leg up, right? Because you don't want to see something just continue to run, run, run. You're chasing at that point. It doesn't give you a nice entry. Um, you want to wait for these, these consolidation phases to happen and then catch the breakout on the, um, of the consolidation. So going back into the one minute chart time frame, because we can look at the one minute chart time frame for a better entry during consolidation phases. And I use a technique called the intraday trend change trend line. And so the idea is that you draw a trend line across the tops of candles on a downtrend. And when you get a break of the trend line, you have a trend change. So this served as our second entry point. We knew that support was at 287. All right, so it came down, hit 287, pushed up. Um, that's where we were able to draw our trend line because it got rejected. So your trend line should match uh, the first rally, right? So here's your pullback, first rally, trend line drawn, second pullback, support validated right here on this candle. Um, and then you got the break over, right? And so oftentimes what you'll have is a pullback to test the top side of this old trend line as a new resistance because or as a new support. So this is old resistance. Let me extend this out a little cleaner so you can see. So this is old resistance, breakout, pullback, new support, test, and then the go. Okay, so breakout over the old resistance line, validating, still validating this 287 mark as a support. That was our second entry point. We held through a little bit of pullback. We were never down more than 10% on that trade. Um, again, it pushed up, made a new high of day here, right? So there's your old high of day, there's your new high of day. We scaled out of here, for, out of this trade for 20%, um, 30%, and then once more at 50%. And that was how I wound up making $890 on Facebook. Um, once the eight o'clock mark hit, you know, there were plenty of entries here throughout this entire push. Um, once this eight o'clock mark hit though, uh, where was that? Right about this price point. That was like the old previous high, of, uh, the old high of day. Um, we were done trading. Uh, there's, there's no reason to sit through an entire market session after you're already up so much on the day. Um, a lot of fake outs happen, lower volume happens. You know, you don't have the, the momentum that is there. You don't have the volume that is there like there is in the early morning and the late hour sessions. So for that reason, we were done trading Facebook. Um, again, it was playable a couple of more times. You know, we could have probably used like the trend line method there and look how perfect that is, right? Where it breaks over the trend line, pulls back, tested as a support and then goes. Um, could have maybe taken an entry here over the previous high of day, but I'm only breaking down what I traded. So that was my uh, that was my two scalp plays on ticker Facebook today for $890. Guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you like these breakdowns, if it's clear for you, or if you have any suggestions for future videos that I should do. Thank you all, and I'll see you in chat.